Austin, you just take us behind the scenes when you found out from Darwin you'd be starting. Uh, obviously, you started with this team before. That's not like it's it's a, a brand new thing. But considering where the team is right now, how you processed that news and your approach was uh, tonight. Um, he pulled me aside yesterday uh, after practice and told me that I would be starting. Um, but for me, it's it's really the same mindset going into every game, and it's win uh, at all costs. Win. And that's all that really matters. So there's not much difference starting, not starting for me. It's, it's really just go out and play basketball that I, the way that I always have and the way that I love. Um, I think it's two and a half games right now to separate the, well, three games, I guess, if you want to separate the fourth from the 12th seed. Oh, wow. Uh, um, what, what do you think that these next couple of weeks are going to be like in terms of intensity, um, feeling like the stakes. It felt like a big game, obviously, and a big win mm-hmm. tonight. Um, what are you kind of anticipating as everything's so packed together like this? Uh, I think it's basically the same as it has been the last couple games or last couple weeks for us. Uh, obviously, we don't want to be in this position. We'd like to be, you know, first in the league, but this is the, the position that we're in. And... Um, you know, it's it's really about us. Like, if we go take care of our business, lock into, you know, coaching staff, the scouting report, all that, uh, the talent we have is we have a lot of talent, uh, and I feel like we can win against anybody. So it's going to be hectic, uh, but this is why you play the game. You want high-pressure moments, um, and you really want to, you know, play under the lights. Austin, uh 25 points and a career high 11 assists. I, I guess what, what type of offensive rhythm have, have you been in over the last week or so? Uh, you know, getting to the free throw line, you know, finding your teammates, um, and just kind of being a reliable scorer for this team. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, since Brown's been out, um, you had to have multiple guys feel what he does because uh, he, you know, does everything on the court. Uh, and so I've been, I've tried to be more aggressive, uh, you know, offensively both ways getting uh teammates involved and then also scoring uh and getting to the line so um it's really just been you know going back and playing basketball you know the way that i love the way that i've always played and you know having fun with it austin uh obviously you you impacted the game a number of ways tonight but also the way the whistle was going um for both teams at times but certainly 46 free throw attempts for you guys was there a point in the game where you kind of felt like okay this, it's going to be this type of game and maybe with my skill set I can I can really make an impact at the line uh it's never really that approach um I just try to get to you know the spots that I like to do uh, on the court and you know just read how the defender's playing uh I like to, obviously, as everybody knows, I like to pivot because uh, I can't go dunk everything. So stay below the rim, pivot. And, you know, a lot of times if you're patient doing that, uh, the defender will at some point think you're shooting. So um, I don't really, you know, attack or see, you know, how the refs are calling it to, you know, change my game. I kind of just play you know, the, the same way regardless. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, 46 free throws is a lot. Um, but if you get downhill a lot and you have, you know, guys like AD, D-Load that are really crafty, then, you know, there's going to be fouls. Yeah, Austin, just thinking specifically about the OKC game coming up and, you know, all of these games have felt like a pressure and playoff implications and all that, but tiebreaker on the line, like they're kind of right next to you in the standings. You split with them earlier. Um, what have you seen from them this year and in, in a young team that's playing well, and what do you th- you feel like you guys have to carry into that game? Yeah, they're a young team that's very talented, um, that plays hard, plays the right way, and plays for each other. Um, so it's, like I've said before, it's going to be about us focusing on, you know, how we approach the game, how we play the game, and, you know, really just come out from the gate and um, try to dominate the game. Uh, obviously, it's basketball, and things happen here and there, and um, it's a game of runs, but uh, with the talent that we have, like I said, uh, we, we feel comfortable with where we're at. Thank you. All.